To become the number one bestseller on Amazon in something like a garlic press, it's going to cost you more than a Lambo in net losses over the course of 11 months. Would you be able to sustain that? Most sellers can't. But one seller did, uh, Zule Kitchen, and they have the number one garlic press on Amazon. And they've gone on to make over $1.3 million in net profits, well making up the losses of that over 300 grand. And even when you type in garlic press today on Amazon.com, they're still advertising for organic position, PPC position number one right now. Uh, and it's fascinating to see how this played out. Now, there is a pricing expert on the interwebs, Chad Rubin, a good acquaintance of mine. And he did an analysis with Aaron, who is the face of Zule Kitchen, and you can see a bunch of his social posts. And so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk through Chad's LinkedIn posts, very high quality content, get straight to the point, and I'll show you their strategy. So um, Chad got access, went through all of the information and figured out you know, what they did and how they did it. So he writes, he's maintained the number one Amazon best-selling badge on garlic press since 2020. That's, that's a feat of its own, just straight up. His launch strategy caused him to lose more than $327,000, but now makes 110 k monthly. Here's how to replicate Zule's strategy. So in the launch system, in June of 2019, Aaron Cordobez listed his famous Zule garlic press. Everything started out below market price. So this is a, a well-known strategy uh, just to get sales in the door because on Amazon, the concept is you need sales to get sales. Uh, it's counterintuitive, but that's exactly how it works. It's a snowball effect. The algorithm picks you up and you start taking off. Everything started out with a below market price. And he turns his low price into a category leader, strategically discounting by 50%. He sustains a massive discount to market for 15 months, resulting in the number one bestseller in the category. By the way, this is not the only time this brand has done this. They've done it multiple times. So that's how I know this does actually work. Here's how he owns the niche, and that's by owning the top of search. The main keyword, garlic press, which is what we just did right here. He's in PPC spot number one. Gets around 83,000 searches per month. There are other relevant keywords, but this is the hero keyword. Also why he's probably bidding for PVC position one. So how does he dominate this keyword? Running paid ads at a loss. Sounds simple, but here's where it gets spicy. He does what most brands are unwilling to do to sell at an astounding loss for 11 months, to be precise. This is the exact opposite of what most brands are willing to do. Everyone wants to be the number one garlic press, but how many are actually going to follow through and willing to lose money like Aaron did? Instead of gradually getting the product to rank, Aaron drops his price and generates a large loss to the tune of 327 k the magnitude of the price drop up to 50%, and the frequency of monthly price drops three times on average. So this is the actual uh, price tracking history over the last few years. Uh, we could actually pull it up on his live listing, and we'll do that right now. So... So to get this, I'm just using a Helium 10 Chrome extension. You can use all kinds of extensions to get this information. So here you can see the price. So he started at the market under $8. And I, and I know there's inflation and whatnot, but $8 for a garlic press, even in 2019, that, that's a pretty low priced item. So you can see all the price drops and raises. I mean, the amount of price manipulation over time is substantial. Ironically, his list price doesn't even show up until 2022. Um, not that that's terribly consequential, but around 2022, Amazon did come out with the ability for list price strike throughs to show up again. So it is worthwhile. If you don't have your list price uh, locked in, you definitely want to have it in there. I generally recommend having the list price somewhere around 25 to 35% higher than your actual intended sales price. Uh, additionally, if you if you ever do sell your item at list price and then later lower it down, it's more likely to show the list price as a heads up. So in here, you can see you know, he's in the top 200 of home goods and he's maintained it. He's in he's sales rank 101 right now. So, I mean, you know, substantial amount of sales. So we'll click on the Helium 10 x-ray tool here and you can see uh, proof in the pudding for how much sales this, this churns out. It's quite a bit, right? So 34,000 units a month, 700 grand in revenue. And Chad put that at, you know, roughly 110K in profit a month. 
So he experiments with price to change the rank. You might look at his BSR success on Garlic Press and think Aaron had it all figured out, but you couldn't be more wrong. Price exploration is key. He has tried to at least 48 different prices in the past 15, in the first 15 months. So you can see that with the data right here. Boom, 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 boom. Now, of these 48 price changes in the 15 months, 27 were increases and 21 were de decreases. The optimal decision is not always to maintain a lower price on Amazon. It's a little tricky, right? So Aaron's break-even point was a 25-month journey. So that's how long it took him just to break even, right? So 11 months of staggering losses, starts to make profit month 12, and it took him an almost a second year just to make up the losses. In the first year, Aaron's bold strategy led to 327K loss, but now he's raking in 4X that amount annually. And it's all about the power of strategic loss for long-term gain. By absorbing initial losses, Aaron set the stage for massive gains. His first year was tough, but his perseverance is paying off big time. He does something very smart to catapult his profit. He used his hero variation as a lead magnet and a loss leader. Aaron strategically prices his hero variation at a loss. Yes, at a loss, but here's the twist. He offers a full spectrum of color variations, rose, gold, green, red, etc., at 43% higher prices on average which are far superior unit economics, right? So if we go over to his listing right now, you can see all of these variations. So he's got the main one at $13. Let's go click over to Imperial Silver, Dark Gray here. That one's at $16.99. Let's click on Fire Red. That one's at $21.99, right? So you can see big average variation price, $18.56, according to the analysis. We estimate at least 25% of customers opt for these higher price variations. What? One in four customers is willing to buy a higher price variation just to get the color they want? Interesting, right? So they generate the 21,000 reviews. They get number one in bestseller garlic presses, and then they make a little bit of money on some of these secondary units. Now, obviously, most of the sales are not going to go to that, but one in four? I, I mean, I, I, I would have guessed one in 10, maybe, right? But one in four with all those variations, wow, that's pretty substantial. So increased his profit by 66% by doing that, offset some of the losses of the hero. And this, and this analysis with the variations is really why I wanted to read through Chad's analysis here because I found it fascinating um, and a good use of variation and parentage theory. So he's got the BSR, unit sales 45,800, total profit negative 327K and to get his rank, but then for the last 11 months, he had BSR in kitchen and dining, 160 on average. Subnode garlic press BSR number one on average. Unit sales, 341K. Total profit, $1.2 million. Big deal. And by the way, uh, Chad does have a repricing uh, tool as well as like a whole analysis and, and system behind his program. Uh, he, he's the creator of Scubana. Uh, pretty smart guy. You want to follow him. He's been on the podcast network. You'll see a lot of him across the interwebs. Definitely want to check him out or follow him and add connections on LinkedIn. So I, I love looking at cool, dynamic things, coming up with new ideas. Now, 99.9% .9 of sellers are never going to try and replicate this. But the crazy 0.01% out there that want to try and pull this off, it's replicatable. Uh, I, I pretty much guarantee somebody can replicate this. But you have to have some cojones, you're gonna to have to have some strength or steel uh, down where it counts because that is a long time to go without profit, right? So you're gonna to have to have a big investor, a big brand behind you. And most, I don't think, I just can't think of anyone in my network who's willing to do that besides Zule Kitchen. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna to wanna to check out these videos next. I've got all kinds of things from PPC, SEO, and design. Click here next.